problems the Tottenham have had on the run into the final. Do you still think that the mood is right? Yes, I think uh, we've got the same feeling as um, we had last year, and we felt we prepared. We couldn't have prepared any better last year, uh, although we ended up winning the uh, the cup in the replay. But uh, the feeling is very good. It's very relaxed. Uh, we've been at that hotel many a times this season, so it's um, something that we're used to. Um, and you know, it's nice and relaxed. Uh, obviously, it's all about what happens at three o'clock uh, this afternoon. That's the main thing. But uh, you can only prepare yourself. Um, and we, we feel we've done the right thing. Well, uh, sitting just uh, across the way is Garth Crooks. And Garth, I would imagine at a moment like this, you're all on the way to Wembley. You're all definitely in the team. You must all be feeling particular sympathy for poor Ricky Vera, who of course isn't. Obviously, we're very sorry that the situation has forced Ricky not to play. But um, the situation is that he's not going to play. and We're all looking forward to the game now. Um, and we'll, we want to go on with the job in hand. Is there a bit of banter in this coach ride, or is it all a little bit of quiet nervousness, do you think? No, there's a little bit of banter mixed with a bit of uh, quiet oh, nervousness, hi. I think. Uh, See what I mean? So, um, we, we're relaxed and we're looking forward to the game. I think at times like this, you, you're more concerned with just going over the fine little details of your game and getting on the pitch and soaking up the atmosphere uh, and getting on with the job and on, like I've said. I suppose it, it's less than an hour's drive to Wembley. It must seem uh, as long as Jimmy Hill's chin sometimes, though, this journey. <laughs> uh, not quite as long as that. Um, I think we've just met the Fonz and we've seen some of the fans, and it's nice to speak to them and wave to them. And between now and, and getting to Wembley, we'll meet a lot of Spurs fans, and we'll share a joke with them out of the window and, and try and mix up the mix up the journey a little bit. But it's a nice, quite, uh, ni quite a nice, pleasant trip to uh, Wembley. Well, best of luck, Garth. And let's have one uh, final word before we go with the Tottenham skipper, Steve Perryman, who's had a bit of a dramatic morning with a fitness check uh, right at the 11th hour. How are you feeling, Steve? Uh, very well, thank you. And the injury completely clear? Yes, no problem. A proud uh, Ronnie Whelan uh, getting instructions about the trophy. And meanwhile, the Spurs players now on the Wembley pitch, most of them know so well. Ray Clements, well, this is the first FA Cup final appearance for Ray Clements for Tottenham Hotspur, but of course not his first uh, Cup final appearance by any means, because he's been here with Liverpool before, and of course played often on the Wembley pitch with England. Chris Hewton, the young uh, Republic of Ireland international fullback. Steve Archibald testing the turf. Spurs Scottish international striker. Certainly Steve's having a good look around. Those are the Queen's Park Rangers fans. And incidentally, colour changes today. Um, Queen's Park Rangers will be playing in red. And Glenn Hoddle and the Spurs boys will be wearing all yellow because of the colour clash. Garth Crooks. Well, do you remember that shot of Garth Crooks 12 months ago? It certainly sticks in my memory. When he stood in the middle of the pitch, he was the last player left there. And he was absorbing the atmosphere as best he could looking around silently at the crowd and really trying to remember every moment of it. Paul Miller and Glenn Hoddle. And Keith Birkinshaw, the manager, who's had his problems this morning, had to decide whether to leave Via out in view of the uh, escalation of hostilities in the Falkland Islands, discussed it with Veer, and I gather the player volunteered to stay out of the side. We are told that Ricky Veer is coming to watch the match this afternoon, but he's not out there on the pitch, I don't think, at the moment. And Keith Birkenshaw said that he hoped Ricky Veer would be sitting alongside him on the bench. Paul Price on the far side will be taking the place of Beer this afternoon. An unexpected bonus for him. And Spurs have got the astonishing uh, cup record of never having been beaten in a final. They first played an FA Cup final, I think, as a non-league side at the turn of the century. They won that one. And indeed, if they win the cup for the seventh time today, they equal Aston Villa's record.
Nice shot of the players moving towards the packed banks of Spurs supporters above the tunnel and just below is Bob Wilson. I have with me Garth Crooks. Garth, does it seem five visits in a year? I mean, is there any difference? I can't believe it's five visits in a year, Bob, but it's every bit as special as when I first came. Now, we notice there's no Ricky Beer out on the pitch here. That is obviously a big blow to you, a big blow to Spurs in general, but do you think it could react in so much as the lads are wanting to win this game so much for Ricky? Well, the lads want to win the game for Ricky, for the club, for the fans. Um, we're very disappointed that he's not with us, but sometimes world events take over football, and in this situation, unfortunately, has done. But we're about football, not politics. We want to come here and show what Tottenham Hotspur have got to offer. And there's a confidence in the team, as much as it has been in the, uh, perhaps in the middle of the season. I say that because it's been a, an unhappy time, hasn't it, for a week or two anyway? Well, it's been a little bit of apprehensive week for us. Um, We've been wanting two injury doubts, but the boys have pulled through. We're delighted for them. Um, we've not got Ricky, like we say, so uh, without Ricky, we are at full strength. So we're really looking forward to a great game and playing like we know we can play. Have a good game. Cheers, thanks, Bob. Well, I'm joined now by Steve Turner. Hi, Steve. I must first ask you, you were, in fact, uh, a Queen's Park Rangers supporter, weren't you, Ron? That's right, yes. Uh, from the age of about 12 to 14, yes. And what about this uh, excitement of the week, Footballer of the Year, which we offer your con our congratulations Thank to you. Thank you very much, yes. Uh, obviously the highlight of your career, Steve. Uh, it's the best award I've ever received, and it's made me very, very proud. And then to be followed so quickly by this occasion is well, fantastic. I also want to ask you about the injury situation. There have been those niggly injuries which can always disrupt the team. Sure. Uh, do you feel, having had that practice match this morning, that perhaps it has helped? Everything now is okay, you know. Uh, the injuries have recovered, and uh, apart from the disruption during the week, this is the best prepared Tottenham team has ever been at Wembley. Good luck. Thank you Good very luck. much. I'm joined now by Tony Galvin. Tony, the first thing is to ask you about your various injuries and illness that was. Yeah, I've had a bit of a traumatic week. It started off with an illness on Monday. I played the friendly Wednesday, got another setback with a serious knee injury. I didn't think I stood any chance of playing on Thursday. And uh, now I'm okay, fortunately. So you're feeling confident and ready to go? I'm ready to go, looking forward to the match. Good luck, Tony. Good luck. Well, I'm joined now by Keith Burke and Hello, Keith. Now, it has been obviously a worrying morning for you. We do notice that Ricky B is not with you at this moment. Has he in fact come to the stadium? No, uh, he was intending coming, but uh, a lot of problems with the media at home. Uh, and he's a little bit scared about leaving his wife there uh, by herself. So we're all uh, a little bit perturbed about that, and uh, you, we would have loved to have had him here with us, but Ricky, we're all thinking about you, son. I know you, Keith, are uh, somebody who, like me, prefer to sort of stay out of the limelight. Yes. Here you are with five visits in a year, which is a new record for a manager. Are you finding it more comfortable now? Are you finding it more comfortable, the atmosphere? And... Uh, I don't think it gets any easier. Uh, it's a uh, tremendous noise that you get every time you walk onto the stadium, and uh, there's probably nowhere else in the world like this. Um, Ricky and uh, Ozzy would uh, sample the World Cup recently, you know, they thought that this was unique. And I think it is. Just listen to these fans in the back here. There was a time in the season when everybody would have been saying Spurs for the cup, but do you feel that the injuries and the problems might disrupt you? No, I think they will come out even stronger. We'll wait and see anyway on that one. Steve, thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.